My name is David Platt, and I want to share with you just a little bit about uh, a book that God gave me the opportunity to write by His grace. Think about what it means to follow Jesus. Put yourself in the shoes of a first century follower in a crowd that is following after Jesus, and all of a sudden he turns around and he says to you, if you're going to come after me, you need to deny yourself, take up your cross, an instrument of torture, and follow me. He says things like, if you're going to come after me, you need to hate your mother and father, wife and children, brother and sister. He says things like, anyone who comes after me must give up everything he has. Even one guy who comes up wanted to follow Jesus, eager to follow Jesus, and Jesus looked at him and said, go, sell everything you have and give it to the poor. Then you can come follow me. And we, we put ourselves in the shoes of these first century people, and we start to think, well, how do we respond? Would we really follow after Jesus? And this is where we come face to face with the frightening reality. And that reality is that in the 21st century, Jesus says the exact same things to us. He tells us that to follow him means giving him our affection and our love in a way that makes our closest relationships in this world look like hate in comparison. And he does tell us to give up everything we have to follow him. It is possible that he could say in any single one of our lives, sell everything you have and give it to the poor. Then come follow me. Now, we don't think like this. We, say, we look at passages like these where Jesus says words like this, and we say, well, what Jesus really meant was, and this is where we need to be really careful, because at this point, we are starting to redefine Christianity according to our preferences and what is comfortable for us. We take the Jesus of the Bible and we twist him into a Jesus that we're a little more comfortable with, a nice middle-class American Christian Jesus who looks like us, who thinks like us, who talks like us, who doesn't call us to go to dangerous extremes. He wants us to avoid danger altogether. And we take the Jesus of the Bible and he begins to look a lot like us. And the danger here is that when Jesus is being twisted into our image, and when we gather together as Christians in our churches and we sing and we lift up our hands to Jesus, the reality is we're not actually worshiping the Jesus of the Bible. Instead, we're worshiping ourselves. And so the point of this book is to dive into who Jesus really is in Scripture and what the gospel really is, to think about what it means to follow after him in a world where so many are without Christ, in a world where so many are, are starving without basic needs. Following after Christ looks radically different than sometimes what we think of in terms of Christianity. And Christ is more satisfying than anything or everything this world has to put together. And what we find is in following him for who he is, we realize that we were created for something much greater than a nice middle-class Christian spent on the American dream. Our lives were created to count for his glory among all peoples. And this is where life is truly found.